champagne, the ultimate symbol of luxury, a symbol that has been used in art, literature, and in music throughout the ages. Hi, my name is Lauren Fiala, and I'm the wine specialist at the Lodge of Geneva on the Lake. Tonight, we're going to talk about the history of sparkling wine in Ohio. This is the first of a two-part series. Next week, we will discuss the different types of sparkling wine styles that are available. First, we are going to learn the parts of the bottle. First, you've got the muselet, which it's at the top, which is a cork cage. You've got your cork and your annulus, which is at the base of the neck. And you have the punt at the bottom of the bottle. Today, I'm going to show you the proper way to open up a bottle of wine. However, let's face it, it's not as exciting as spraying a bottle of champagne when you're trying to celebrate something. First, remove the foil cap. Then you're going to find the little tab on the wire cage. Place a rag over top of it, and you're going to turn this wire six times. Fun fact, it's like that for every single bottle of sparkling wine. Keeping the cage on the cork and the rag on top, slowly turn the bottle, not the cork itself, and ease the cork out. Should sound like a nun's fart if you've done it right. Should you not finish your bottle, you need to preserve your bubbles with a champagne stopper. The major difference between a lot of these stoppers is the tightness of the seal, and oftentimes these are under $10 each. There are many different types of champagne stoppers available on the market, but I'm demonstrating two here. The first uses a vacuum seal within the bottle to hold the bubbles inside. And the second one you place, there's a rubber seal on the inside that you push down onto the bottle and then the actual wings close around the annulus holding it in place. The other important thing is to make sure that you keep your wine cold. Please place it back in the fridge. This will make sure that all of those bubbles remain in solution. Today when you think of champagne, you think of sparkling wine. But back in the 1600s, this was not the case. Early wine from Champagne was a light pink still Pinot Noir. Champagne is located in the northern part of France at 48 degrees north latitude. Benedictine monk Dom Perignon has been credited for the invention of Champagne for a long time. However, he spent most of his career trying to rid the wine of this sparkle. He was considered the master blender and he also found a way to create white wine from red grapes. In the 1600s, advances in glass making in Great Britain helped to increase the stability of the glass used for champagne. Barbe Nicole Ponsardine, also known as Madame Clicquot, was pivotal in moving the champagne industry forward in the 1800s. It was an employee at her winery that created the invention of riddling, which removed the yeast from the bottom of the bottle, clearing up champagne forever. Sparkling wine in America can be credited back to Nicholas Longworth, who was considered the father of American wine. In 1803, at the age of 21, he arrived in Cincinnati, Ohio, where he set up a lucrative law practice. In the early 1820s, he tried to grow Vitis vinifera, which is the European grape varietal, but they soon died because of phylloxera, which is a root louse. He later discovered the pink skin grape Catawba, and found that if you remove the skins before fermentation, you got this sweet pink wine. It wasn't until 1842 that there was an accidental fermentation of this pink Catawba that he created his best wine yet. Ohio became America's biggest wine producer in 1859 at 570,000 gallons of wine a year, which was at the time twice the amount of California. If you'd like to taste an example of this historic wine, try Miranda Nixon's Sparkling Catawba. Another example of early Ohio sparkling wine comes from the Lawns Winery, which is located on Middle Bass Island, which also means Island of Flowers, and they were started in the mid-1800s. For information on how to find sparkling wines from around Ohio, go to ohiowines.org. Join me next time when we talk about how sparkling wine is made. Thank you very much for joining me. Cheers.